week 14, we covered Adobe Animate. Now I've made a new scene. And I'm going to make another new scene right here. This is just widths. So I'm going to make a new scene right here because you'll have this work file to work off of. And I'm going to be going over the paintbrush tool and the brush tool. If I click on the brush tool, you'll see object drawing mode popped up. So I, I turned it off. And then if I click on the brush tool, so that was the paintbrush tool. If I click on the brush tool, even more options pop up down here, like the size of the brush and the angle of the brush, as well as gradient lock fill. You can also smooth your motion. So I'm going to grab the stylus. If I go like that, object mode is off. Now if I change my line width, if I taper it, I go like that, and you'll see if I make this, the tapers, since object drawing mode is off right here, it's tapering where they meet. So if I turn object drawing mode back on, now it's on. If I draw a line here, you'll see where they meet, it is no longer tapering them. That's using the brush, the paintbrush. Now, I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to hide the other one, and I'm going to use the brush tool. Sorry about that, that's just the Wacom tablet. Now. With the brush tool, you've got the super powerful paint behind, which we'll be going into when we're doing the eye animation. And I've got object drawing mode on. Here's my brush angle and the smoothing. So when I draw now, I've got my width, but one thing to watch, I changed the width on that. If I go Window, Brush, Library, you can add things like, uh, it most notably be an arrow. So if I draw this arrow right here, you're going to have an, oh, sorry about that, I got double click on it. Let me grab my stylus, wait one second. I'm just going to use the mouse for this. Okay, and you see up here, is it the first one? All right. Now it's with the paintbrush, not the brush tool. The brush tool won't let me, but the paintbrush will let me do it. So when I draw my line, I've got arrows at the end of it, and taper is on. If I turn off taper, and I draw my arrows this time, you'll see they're no longer tapered, so you have to watch out for that. Again, if I pick an artistic thing like a paintbrush, I can choose the one I want by double-clicking on it, and you see it change up here in style. So now when I draw my stroke, I've got a more distressed look, or if I pick a dry brush, and I'll change the color of that. to blue. Oh, wait one second. It's still coming out as black. That's okay. And this is where you edit your brushes. So you can see how you can get a variety of things with the brush tool and the paintbrush tool. And again, I'm going to go more into paint behind for the tutorial on animating a blink.